Continuing with where we left off in the last exercise, we're going to add the insertion of images and links to a web page. You'll notice that I have my index.html page open and I've added a uh, heading of H2 level of experience and another paragraph below that. So if we come over to the browser and take a look at what that looks like, you'll see the heading, which is a little bit smaller than the H1 heading, and then the sentence, I'm an assistant pre professor at VCU in the School of Mass Communications. What I'd first like to do now is add an image of myself in this area. So what I can do is first of all close the paragraph, come down here now and put the IMG tag, which is for image, and the uh, image tag also has an attribute equal value pair that you have to consider because what you're going to do is insert an image, uh, reference to an image file that already exists. So it's IMG is the tag, and then the attribute is source, SRC, equal, and then you put in the name of the file. Now I happen to know that in this web folder that I have, I have already placed the file called cindy.jpg. So that means that cindy.jpg and index.html both live in the same house. Very important for inserting the image. And then to insert an image, uh, close the tag using the XHTML convention because IMG is a standalone tag. You just put a slash and then you close it. It does not have a regular closing tag. So we're gonna save this and refresh it in the browser. And now you can see the image that has been inserted. Now, if I would like to put a link to the School of Mass Communications webpage, that's an external link, and that's the A tag. It also has an attribute equal value. You have to say href equal. You have to put the value in quotation marks as I also did for the image tag. And I put in, because it's an external link, http colon slash slash. And I know that the URL is www.has.vcu.edu slash mac. Close. And because it's an external link, I like to say target equal value is underscore blank and it opens in a new window because of that and so that is going to be what it links to the word that's going to be highlighted to school of mass communications and i want to close the a tag after that so let's see if we did this correctly we'll save we'll refresh school of mass communications is underlined and when i click on that it should open in a new window the school of mass communications website and it does